Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I recently built the Lego City Police Prison Island set which has set number 60419. It contains 980 pieces and it's recommended from 7 plus so 7 years of age and above. So I thought we could take a look at it together here see what you get with the set and uh, I'll tell you my thoughts about it. So first off, I thought we could take a look at the uh, minifigures that come with this set. So you get three police officers. This guy is supposed to be in the watchtower inside the prison. And this lady here operates the helicopter. And this guy here operates the speedboat. And then you also get this little dog, police dog right here. This harness here. Or the vest is uh, molded onto the dog so you cannot remove it and use the dog for something else. So here are the police officers with their gear. This guy here has a flashlight and this guy has a walkie talkie. And as you can see you can remove the hairpiece and add a helmet. And the helmets are a little different depending on if you're a helicopter pilot or if you drive the speedboat. You can see the difference in the two helmets there. Here are the four prisoners that come with the set. They all have the uh, exact same uniform. So the only thing that are different are the heads and the hair pieces. So from the back here, you can see that once I remove the hair pieces, the two women have double printed faces. So they also have a face on the back you can use. Here are the uh, other animals, apart from the dog, that are in the set. So there's the shark and the crab, and then there's the spider here, which are in the old mining part. And then the frog here, which is in the laundry room. I personally think they could have added one or two seagulls that you could place on the island around the set. I think that would be fitting, but unfortunately they didn't. Alright, let's move on to the vehicles here. This set comes with three different vehicles, police helicopter, a speedboat, and a little dinghy for the prisoners to escape in. So here is the little dinghy that comes with the set. It has uh, some seating here, and on the back there's a little motor. If you look at the finished build, and also just an empty boat hull of the same kind, you can see they haven't really added a whole lot of pieces here. So I think they could have done a little bit more on this. Maybe added some oars or at least some some more detail, I think. Uh, it's a little bit plain for me, but uh, I'm happy they included it in the set at least. So here is the police speedboat. It is built on a single big hull. It looks like this when it has nothing on it. And I think they did a good job with, with it. I like the sleek design. It's not too tall. has two, two engines in the back here, which you can adjust. So, And then also there's a lot of space in here to place a minifig. Lots of room in here. And then you can also use it in the back here as a prison transport. It's a little hard to get in there, but other than that, I think it was a nice use of colors and I like the design. So this is the police helicopter right here. It's basically just a standard Lego helicopter. You have the stand right here. And then you have possibility to open here. Place a minifigure. Two simple controls. A rotor blade on the top here and then a little propeller on the back. And then this right here is a sticker. And there's one sticker on this side as well. Other than that, I think it's a nice sleek design. And I like that it has a design here that matches the speedboat. Especially this white tile right here. And also the yellow piece at the bottom. I think that looks good. Same with the symbols here. It makes them sort of unified. I think they work really well together. So here is the main structure, the prison island. You build it at three separate pieces and then you can put it all together. So this 
connects with this one right here. And then this goes on the top, the control tower. So just to give you guys some reference, because it's kind of hard to see when everything is just white, how large the set is. I put it on a 48 by 48 stud base plate. And I have one stud clearance on that side and one stud on that side. So it's 46 studs wide on the base. And then as you can see, on the side is quite quite narrow, not very deep, especially the prison, the bunker section right here, the living quarters, and also the observation tower. It's quite a narrow set this way, but very long set from this point of view. If we move in a little closer here, you can see there's a dock in the front here with some steps leading up to the prison. It is possible to come in with a boat here and drop off prisoners or get prisoners. And it's quite good space to place minifigures on the dock here. And then on the other side here, this piece right here is possible to remove if you uh, are in here playing. And the minifigure ends up all the way back here. You can remove this. You can also play around that it's removable and then also these stairs is kind of an interesting technique with the studs not on top building it like this and then placing it into the hole here so i thought that was nice that adds a little bit of extra texture on the front here and then of course this is just a regular rock piece that you dress up with some cheese slopes and some plants and but of course for a 7 plus set that works just fine and then for the back here underneath the basketball court and the entrance here is a laundry room with some boxes and some other stuff and that's also where you can use this escape hatch to come down this tube here I'll show you guys later and then on the other side here Underneath the jail section right here, you have some old mining equipment. So it is possible to lift up these beds right here. And then for the prisoners to escape by jumping into the minecart there. Then once the prisoner is in the minecart, if you open this little entrance that is hidden behind the bushes there, and then ignite the dynamite, the prisoner in the minecart just shoots right out. And then if we move up front here, we can see here's a sliding door to be able to access for the minifigures. But there's not a whole lot of space here to place minifigures. It is possible, but once you get closer to the edge here, there's not a whole lot of studs, so it's a little bit cramped. Same for goes for um, the entrance here. It's just two studs. So it's a little bit tight, but it works. And then of course you have a nice double door entrance here into the prison and then on this side it's just you got some barbed wire up top and then you just have the two sides of course because you have the open play feature on the back here so you have a little basketball court you have a camera observing what's going on on the basketball court and of course you have this little escape hatch which, if you have dug your way out and you drop in here, you come out through this pipe down here. So that's a nice little play feature, especially if you're seven years old or eight years old. And then here, in the entrance is just some handcuffs and some posters and then here underneath the back of the stairs here is a place where you can place the dog it's got a little treat in there and a little rug to sleep on and then here is the living quarters for the prisoners simple toilet 
toilet roll mug and then they have some escape plans underneath drawn up underneath the bed here and if you close that you also close the access to the old mining section and then coming up the steps here we have access to the roof on which the helicopter pad is placed so the helicopter fits nicely onto the pad here that works great and uh, the helicopter pad is also on a turntable so you can just turn it however you like whatever you prefer of course it's a little bit narrow right here could have been a little bit wider but it is what it is and then if we look at this section right here on the back here's what I mean it's a little bit narrow here but you can still still place a minifigure still kind of make it work so it's okay and then on this floor we have a break room for the police officers there's a coffee machine and then on the top here is the control tower where you can see everything you can see boats approaching you have video monitors and then on the front here on the roof you have some lights and a satellite dish and some antennas so one thing i like about this set is the possibility to maneuver minifigures you can have minifigures down here by the dock you can have them go up the stairs through the doors here up the stairs there you can enter this door right here there's also a door from the entrance here out to the recreation area and then of course you have this trapdoor here and access under the bed here the only place you do not have access to is these two floors right here well I guess you could kind of jump through here I guess if you use your imagination but other than that it's just a play feature to be able to place here so you have to use your imagination on how to get up there so here are my final thoughts about this set I managed to buy it off a toy store that had 25% off Lego City so I got it at a what I think really good value and I think the standard Lego price isn't that bad either considering what you get because I think for the intended age range which is seven seven plus so seven eight nine year olds you get three vehicles and then seven minifigures here and then you get this whole build which was a really fun build to build I enjoyed it very much I think it has some interesting building techniques and I think you get a lot of good play features and a lot of good value there wasn't a whole lot of stickers this is the sticker sheet so there isn't too many stickers if you're a seven-year-old and um, especially for me which is an adult I prefer that you get these two boat hulls which is great to use for other things and also it comes with three of these bigger rock pieces and then one of these smaller ones so if you ever decide to take the structure down and do something else with it you do have some larger rock pieces which you can create terrain from and you have some doors windows just some good general pieces to build terrain in a lego city so i think it's a really nice set whether you're seven year old or you're an adult so but let me know your thoughts down in the comments and uh, i guess that's it for this video remember to like and subscribe if you like lego and i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye